Hello world! Ever imagine having two dramatic firsts in just one occasion? Well, make no mistake, this isn't a hypothetical, but an event that just recently unfolded in the House of Commons in Canada. Welcome folks to our podcast, Hear the Web, with your hosts, Tom and Lily. Indeed, Tom. In an extraordinary turn of events, the 338-member House of Commons in Canada elected its first black speaker, Mr. Fergus. This comes on the heels of the former speaker's resignation due to controversy involving the invitation of a Ukrainian veteran with ties to a Nazi unit. Wow, Lily. Really a shake-up in the political scene there. On his election, Mr. Fergus expressed what he termed as a great honour, but he didn't stop there. He urged his colleagues to show respect amidst passionate debates, setting a new tone for politics. Absolutely, Tom. In fact, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau seized the moment to inspire the younger generation, expressing that such a historic election should be seen as encouragement for more diversity in politics. Trudeau's comments highlight a growing desire for a new political landscape. Fascinating perspective, Lily. Now, as we know, not everyone was on board with Mr. Fergus's nomination, especially some Conservative members. Allegedly, an ethics violation from last year made them claim he's incapable to serve. Quite true, Tom. But despite this opposition, the new Speaker was escorted into the House of Commons by Conservative leader Pierre Poilievre and Prime Minister Trudeau, following centuries-old tradition. Quite a fascinating moment, don't you think? It surely was, Lily. Now let's dig a little deeper into Mr. Fergus's background. It seems he isn't unfamiliar with the operations of the House. In his college days, he served as a House of Commons page for a year. As a Member of Parliament, Fergus, 54, has also served as Parliamentary Secretary to the Treasury Board President and to the Health Minister. His biography indeed paints a picture of a man of many talents, including being a community activist, long-distance runner, and a new grandfather, despite describing himself as a failed musician. Who can believe that? And regardless of that amusing, self-deprecating quip, Fergus is now charged with restoring honour to the chamber after the incident involving the former Speaker. A daunting task, no doubt. New Democrat leader Jagmeet Singh put it quite succinctly when he stated that Fergus's first role will be to restore the honour of the chamber. Correct. The task at hand for the new black speaker is indeed challenging, and the eyes of every Canadian, and indeed the world, will be on him. With this historic first, the hope is for a renewed House of Commons, one filled with respect and depth. Agree with you, Lily. This event indeed sends a strong message about political progress and the potential for more inclusive spaces. And with that, we conclude today's episode on this note of progress and inclusion. We'll sure to be keeping a close eye on developments in the House of Commons and bringing you more exciting news from around the world. Until our next episode, this is Lily and Tom saying stay curious, stay inspired, day. And always, remember to meet us here at Hear the Web Podcast.